what's up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the another video and i am using ios 18.1 rc updates from almost five days now and in this video i am going to talk about it, this update so this video is all about battery life performance bugs that i am facing and also when we can expect to see the next update yes I am facing bugs in RC so I will talk about that too so this video is going to be a full-fledged 18.1 RC review video after using it for almost five days so without any further delay let's get jump into this video let's talk about 18.1 RC so very first thing is definitely the battery life over here so I will go to the settings over here into the battery life let the battery stats load now it is also a slow charging by the way and over here as you can see this is the every other day from which i'm using 18.1 rc i started using from over here so let's get to the very first day of 18.1 rc as you can see this graph it graph goes up above than the 100 percent and i used my phone for almost 120 percent it is the most used ever i never used 120 percent before i maybe have gone to 115 but never 120 percent so screen on time is 10 hour and one minute over here as you can see i use netflix whatsapp for a long while as you can see it is more than three hours and 40 minutes then instagram then geekbest score youtube and home and lock screen this is because there are widgets that are quite active i do have a lot of widgets widget number one widget number two widget number three widget number four five some widgets over here also this is a stack widget also this is also a stack widget so i have a lot of widgets on my phone this is why home and lock screen takes this much battery then threads then photos it was maybe uploading to icloud this is why it was quite active so yeah i used my phone a lot for this while and this is why the um, used usage is quite high and screen on time is also quite high if i go to the next day over here i used my phone for around 55 to 60 percent you can say and five hours and 26 minutes use instagram for a bit youtube for a bit and um whatsapp some other applications as you can see now going to the another one is over here i used exactly 100 percent of my phone and got eight hours and 10 minutes of screen on time used instagram a lot now whenever it comes to instagram definitely i'm watching reels and you know reel is all about playing audio and video at the same time so that consumed a lot of battery so yeah i was um, using instagram for a long while towards 31 minute and then netflix some other applications as you can see quite active on um over here in the pocket cast i love listening to um different sort of podcasts so quite active over here and maybe updating my applications and the other stuff going on screen on time again is quite decent over here i use 75 percent and it is 4 or 36 minute it is quite low i don't know why but again it's a decent one and if i conclude the battery life according to the usage it's a decent battery life i have one issue with the battery life on the 18.1 rc and that is the draining as you can see this line and then over here i started using it then i stopped using over here then again this line is going down so there is a bit of battery draining um on the previous beta 7 battery draining was quite better but over here it is a bit it's not a big issue not that much but still it is what it is but overall battery performance is really good and i'm enjoying the battery life no issues at all now let's get a jump into and let's talk about the performance and after performance i will talk about the um, bugs that i am facing so over here i will go to the cpu benchmark cpu history this is the benchmark which i received this is the highest ever at least for me on this device it is 2337 on a single core and 5759 on a multi-core if i compare the a single core with the average one it is better than the average and in multi-core it is also better than the average so i am getting really good scores as you can see i'm 
I'm happy with the scores. Some people are getting even better scores on 18.0.1, which is obvious because that is a stable update. This is not beta, but still it is not a public one, although it will become a public one, but still. So yeah, I have no issues with the Geekman score, no issues with the performance at all. Everything is working so far so good. I never received this one highest. If I go to some other beta, I was getting 2302 on a single core and 5483 on a multi core. Go to some other day over here. This was really big at that time. It was 2322 on a single core while 5655 on a multi core. But over here on the RC, it is the best one, which is a really good news. So in terms of performance, I don't have any sort of issue at all. If I go and show you the GPU benchmark, I I haven't tested it again, but for now I'm getting 21356 um, GPU meta score, which is way better than the average one, as you can see. So scores are really good. On paper, it is really good. Talking about the usage, I don't have any usage issue, but I do receive one issue in the usage and that is the bug I want to talk about in this video. So I also posted about that bug on my threads. If you're not following me on threads, make sure to follow me over there. Over here, this is one of the issues that I was facing. So over here, as you can see, no emojis over here. I have selected this heart and there are no emojis at all. By the way, I actually shooted a proper video so I can show you that. Um, as you can see, this is the recent tab. Okay, and in recent tab, there are fruits. I don't know why. As you can see, again, this is a recent tab. I slide to go over here. This is a sticker tab and there are animal emojis. And this is my uh, meme emoji tab and there are emojis. So this was a very weird bug for me. And I don't know why it was happening. As you can see, stickers are and emojis are in a very different place. And just keep looking it. Just keep looking it. Everything is messed up over here. This is the recent tabs in, and in, in the emoji section. This in the cat section, something different. Over here, it is different. Over here, it is different. And then this is nothing over here. So it was really annoying. I checked it today if i go over here and it is now it has been fixed i don't know how it got fixed but now it is fine as you can see but that was happening yesterday so i thought it is very important to show you that so this is the bug which i'm facing i hope it never happens again but if it comes again apple must fix this with the public or at least now I want to talk about the next release and the actual public release that is for sure going to be on 28th of October, like three to four, three days are remaining, just three days to go and we will see the public release. Many people always get confused that they have 18.1 RC or any RC update and they are not saying public release. It is important to understand if Apple releases RC update and there are no issues until the public release that rc update is actual a public release you will not get any update but if apple has got any sort of issue in the rc update then they will come up, come back with the rc2 so if you are on rc update and apple found no issue until 28th of october you will not get any update i will not get any update this rc will become the public release. So if I go to the settings and show you the um, build number over here, it is 22B82. It is not long as the normal um, build numbers are of betas or public betas or developer betas. So if Apple found nothing in um, RC, this RC will be a public release and you will not get update on 28th of October important thing you need to understand i will talk about this again when the public release would come out well this is all from this video and i will see you in my next video until the day care peace out